So now we have to implement the feature in which we will get the seller current location. When the seller click on this get my current location button. Now to get the uh, user current location for that purpose we have to uh, use two dependencies. First one is geolocator, the second one is geocoding. So go to the popspec.yml file and here first we will add geocoding and then geolocator these two dependencies okay flutter pub get click on pub get so it has been added successfully now let's come back and here our button which is on our sign up screen get my current location here we will implement method which will be by the name get current location now this is we just call this method when the user uh, when the seller click on this button which is get my current location we will call this method we are calling this method here now let's implement this method just copy this name and here above the widget build we will start implementing this method This method will be asynchronous since it take 2-3 seconds to get the location of a user. So we have to wait for that position. Let's give it name as C position which means current position. Okay, And also we need a global variable that will be position which belongs to geolocator let's give it name as position and then when you know the location which we get it is basically in latitude and longitude form now from that latitude longitude we have to get the readable address that is the text address so for that we can say list place mark place mark and also let's initialize a string type variable we will give it name as a full address and now in here let's get the position that is the latitude and longitude of the user current location so we can say geolocator dot get current position to this we have to pass the desired accuracy and it will be location accuracy dot high so what this line of code will do it will basically get the user current position that is latitude and longitude which is also known as geographic coordinates and that will be assigned to the C position variable as I told you guys it will be in latitude longitude form so we have to get that from place mark from coordinates place mark from coordinates okay which simply means that as it is in latitude longitude form so place mark from coordinates to this we will pass the C position latitude and C position longitude which simply means that convert that latitude and longitude to human readable address like the location uh, name the location address so we can simply say c position dot latitude c position dot longitude so basically it will get the place mark from coordinates that is the location name so we will assign this to place mark and you know it result uh, the result contains uh, many uh, suggestion that is at zero index at first index at second index we have different location name so the most appropriate result we will get that is the most appropriate result is at the zeroth index so we can say plus mark zero that is get the first complete address okay place mark from coordinates okay that is the coordinates which we convert to address form or you can say to human readable address that from that the first result we want to get and once we get that appropriate result we will assign this to place mark 
so let's give it name as plus mark variable okay just to make it di uh, different from our this plus mark okay so this is our plus mark vr so it contains like uh, you know sub through fear through fear sub locality which simply means like for example you are living in a place okay so that place has its locality district name street name all this information so what we will do our to our full address we will assign all that complete address so for example now here inside the double quotes let's get it step by step the first thing that comes is the place mark variable dot sub through fear then space place mark variable dot through fear let's put a comma after the curly brace and then we can copy paste this alongside with this comma please follow the same way like I'm doing in front of you okay then what we can do after it we have the sub locality then locality plus mark variable dot locality okay like this and then after the after this comma let's copy paste this alongside with the comma okay then we will have plus mark variable dot administrative area and basically first we have to get sub administrative area comma then copy paste this alongside with a comma like this and then we will have administrative area and then to get the postal code of that location let's copy paste this without comma okay like this we can say postal code then after the comma we have to get the country name so you can say plus mark variable country that's it okay let me show you again to the full address inside the double quotes first we get this okay the sub through here you can say this is the you know like the street name the district name like complete address we are getting and this is according to the documentation okay geolocator and geocoding how we can get plus mark from the latitude and longitude so first we get uh, sub through here through here then after it we get the sub locality locality and then after it we get the sub administrative area and then we get the administrative area postal code and then the country at the last as you can see and this is exactly what we want now we will assign this to our location text editing controller so we can say dot text and to this we will assign our full address so now let's check out our application to see if it is working so let's go to the sign up and get my location click on that and one thing which we have to do is make sure that you add the permission for using the location services so we have to add the permission we have not yet added the permission for that now to add the permission first of all go to Android app inside the app we have SRC then we have man and then inside the man we have Android manifest.xml so here above the application tag we can say uses permission android net and it is access find location this one okay and then another one is uses permission android name access course location these two okay just like that Now first add these here 
and then after it we want uh, to automatically whenever the app starts it asks for the permission if the user has not give location permission to the app so for that purpose what we will do we will go to the popspec.yml and here we will add permission handler this one okay then click on pub get and then we have to go to the main from where our app starts as we want to ask at the start for the location permission so what we can do we can make this man asynchronous and this will be future white now here we can say wet permission which belongs to permission handle okay as you can see as we will ask for location so it will be location when in use dot is denied that is if the user denied the location permission then in that case we will ask again for the permission because location is important it is required so what we can do we can simply say value of permission or you can say result of permission okay that is on the basis of this value of permission we can say if it is true that is if the permissions are denied then ask again permission dot location when in use dot request ask the user to allow the location permission so we have to close the debugging and let's install the app again on our phone so the app is running now make sure to add one more line because without that it will show you just display screen ok if you do not add this which is widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized make sure to add this line then close debugging and install the app on the phone again and here we go here you can see it asks for the permission so we can say while using the app and guys if you are testing the application on the emulator then make sure to first set the location for your emulator if you are testing on your real phone then it's okay okay because it will deduct automatically when you click here on this uh, get my current location button but if you are using emulator then set the location for this emulator how you have to just click here on this three dotted button which will open these extend control for this device okay and then what you can do here you can search the location for example in my case I am on this phone belongs to Park Riyadi restaurant as for example I will create the account for that restaurant first so let's say I will say Park Riyadi okay like this and then you have when you search the location then I set this device location to this one as you can see marked so I will click on set location once you click on set location then this device location is set okay so now what you can do you can simply click on get my location and now you will see the magic as you can see it already get the address which is here okay we have to uh, change the color of the text to make it more visible so for that purpose just go to the custom text field and change this color for the text field of course which will be the text which will be inside it okay so text style you will change it to color color start black so now you can see this change to this for example let's test again the app is running now if we go to the sign up and we click on get my location then it will get your location and it will assign it to this text field as you can see or as I told you you can edit this location manually as well so you can see that okay this is the 
complete address as I told you guys earlier which in which include the sub through fair through fair sub locality locality administrative area sub administrative area postal code alongside with the country so yeah this is it